In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your ghost static website with GitLab. So I'm going to start a virtual machine. This is Fedora system. I will be just, I'm going to use just live environment because there's more than enough to do this setup. So our Fedora is starting. My main host machine is also Fedora fedora based distribution this is the novara linux but some reason with virtualbox novara linux doesn't work correctly by fedora close so first of all let me open the browser gitlab.com slash my gitlab profile here is my GitLab profile and I create a project ghost static. You need this one to make your website. Copy the HTTPS link. Now let's open the terminal. So first of all, I will recommend to make a directory. Make mkdir. I will call it web. You can see this web in your file manager. So this directory has been created. Now let's change directory to this web empty directory. Okay. Now let's go to the official page of Ghost CMS. So we can see how we can do setup. But Actually, we are not in the correct point. Uh, better will be ghost CMS install local. Yes, this one. So we have to install npm because I am using Fedora based system. Uh, it will be for me sudo dnf install n uh, npm if you are using archbase maybe pacman dash s npm if you are using ubuntu maybe sudo apt install npm while this is downloading let's do some other stuff so we have already <clears throat> copied the HTTPS link. So let's open the terminal. Where is the new terminal? Where is the new terminal? Oh, new terminal. Okay, here is the new another terminal. <clears throat> let's again do cd to our that web, and then we will do a git clone. We will run git clone. Git clone the HTTPS link. So it's copied, I mean, cloned our local our directory. <clears throat> Inside this directory, now we will create a new repository. To do that, I will just create an account on GitLab. Let's create a new group, new group. Mm. So first you will type mm, my blogging website. Uh, I will make it XYZ. You can name it anything. Next. Dot GitLab dot IO. Make it public. Uh, this one before another other just me um, just to quote. Uh, 
let's download this npm now let's create a new project the new project name will be the same just like the group name copy new project new project just paste that one okay public okay on here npm is installed uh, i would like to close all of this <clears throat> now if you remember i clone this now open press here and see the hidden directory this git file remove this dot git file remove it after removing um, your this new directory open terminal to this location to this location now i will clone it again on it it clone this one and it will clone my new new repository inside there is a dot git file just copy this new git file and paste it here just replacement of that old git i will delete it and now i can do uh git add dot git commit dash m um update uh i have to type this git config your email address Hmm. So now let's do it commit dash aim. It committed all the things. Now let's do git push, and it will require my git account password, ideal password. Now if I come back here and refresh it, this one. Here is everything so nice now again let's open it terminal let's open the terminal to this location uh, to my home directory then wave then this and let's open the uh, official documentation of ghost CMS now we can run we already installed npm now we can run this one just copy paste it maybe it will show error we need to run it as sudo user let's wait and see error very nice let's do sudo and then paste it again so now it installed uh, so it installed here now we will run ghost start oh nope not no could not go to ghost start so no everything is fine so we will create a directory here called ghost mkdir ghost okay now let's get inside this ghost directory now we will run ghost in astral local it's creating a ghost cms make sure your internet connection is connected all right last time that process was failed because of the lack of storage inside my vm uh, this time i installed this fedora os on my main machine let's continue our process all right so inside the 
inside the web directory inside this ghost directory there is a ghost another ghost directory ls and this one is empty uh, ls dash a it's empty i know you have already installed it you don't need to run it again because this one is a new system i need to install it again Oh, it's error. We have to run it as sudo user. Okay, next up, we installed ghost CLI and npm inside our system. Now we have to run the ghost install local. Ghost install local. Now this will install uh, the ghost CMS inside this ghost directory. I hope you already know to start the ghost server uh, after the restarting that after restarting the system you have to come back to the same directory uh, this directory on your terminal or you can right click and open the terminal then you have to run ghost start to run the server again ghost stop you can also run ghost restart and useful command is ghost doctor I want to download a picture for our profile. Mm -hmm. This one looks nice. Make the name simple. Anything simple then. No underscore complicated anything. PNG will be better format. Currently I didn't test this for JPEG or JPG. Okay, it's running on this HTTPS uh, local uh, 2368. Uh, keep remember this number 2368. Let's run this. I want to do copy and paste it on your website. I mean, on your browser. Uh, hmm, so here is the site title. What can I title it? Anything you want. Full name, email address. I'm going to give a randomly email address. Also, it's fine to uh, make random names. Password, keep remember the password. Save it. Write a fast post. Hello, world. Hello, around world. So our first post has been published. So this is the main page. Uh, here is the you can see the demo. Uh, explore uh, settings to customize your website. And if you if if you want if we want to see the public version of our website, just remove this. Uh, ghost and just run local and your website port number and here is our website and this is our post hello hello around world subscribe button anything our website name is okay now everything looks fine we want to make a static version of this localhost 2368 to do that to do that inside the ghost okay we don't need to go inside the ghost to make a, uh, a static site or to push it on gitlab just open the terminal on this location and run and run mm, uh, wait i want to open the readme section gitlab.com my profile go static that old one under gpl2 license you know okay first we have to set the permission so first this one a static website converter this one a static website converter so we will do sudo chmod plus x keep remember we we are doing this for 
because we are doing it for first time now a static website error.sh enter enter your password uh, if you want to see what it do basically it's do the wget make sure wget install sudo dnf install wget make sure it's already installed now wget if you want to um, this will basically uh, create a local version uh, basically this will create a static version of your website and this dollar one will require the output so our website is running on if we can see our website is running on 2368 so we have to replace this dollar one to 2368 let me show you how you can do this your this number can be changed so i just create i just made it dollar one Uh, while it's doing we need to create a profile pic we need we will set a profile picture so let's go to the here press on uh what's new your profile set a profile picture download directory here is a beautiful flower okay nice save now create another post new post anything 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 the feature image is this one nice let's publish it published okay it's already downloaded mm. so to run this we will do dot slash as you can see dot slash and your dot slash just paste it let me increase the size and dot slash it's running on <coughs> 2368 2368 now if you go to the file manager you can see there is a DOCS doc folder but if you press it uh, you will see image are not images are not loaded images are not working correctly it's very normal this one comes from uh, another website so all right so fix now for some reason it's working quite correctly <clears throat> but for my main production machine i have some issue like images path don't come to the correct place so fix it i made a script um, there is no side effect if you run run that one so i will run it um, if your images are not working correctly uh, just do this one what i am doing right now um, from here run this one it will ls a file and you can see this one tsfa uh, keep remember this name mm. now do uh, hmod plus x we are giving permission to this feature image location fixer i mean this one Okay. Now just open it. Now open this with a text editor. Now, as you can see, there is a name called Change Me, and replace it with this name. If you have any issue with image, then do it. If you don't face any issue, you don't need to do this one. I know you can do replace I don't know uh, this text editor doesn't have that feature now save this file mm, everything looks fine 
fine, 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 fine. Hmm. Okay. So now just run this. No such a file or directory. Why? Dot slash. No such a file or directory. Hmm. All right. There is another issue. Doc my ghost CMS journey. Index dot HTML slash doc slash. Hmm. Hmm. For now, I will remove all of this. This causing some issue. Understand what I did? Basically, that wget command uh, replaced the .png format to the wrong extension. So this script just basically replaced all of this wrong PNG script to correct PNG extension. That's the script to use modify this script as you need it and now i will run this again okay this time it worked successfully now i will do git push uh -huh. but basically this dot git push script 2 is uh, just git add git commit and git push that's all it is that's all it do I set the permission now I will launch it now it will require my git account and git password mm, I have to set my email address git push everything is up to date oh run that again git push now it's on my gitlab uh, looks like i have to sign in on my browser sign in just now pushed here now it's running the pipeline if i can show you the yaml file of this pipeline uh, this one dot gitlab ci dot yaml uh, you can also watch it from here Hmm. This one. It's better to the same file. So the image file is Fedora latest. I don't think you need to change it, but if there is any issue, try with this line. I mean, copy this one and paste on here, or this one. Uh, now inside the Docker, create a public directory and copy all of this doc file to that public directory and path is public main if this process failed i mean we did some trouble on our uh, file it will uh, restore to the last commit rollback to the last successful version and if you don't want to roll back automatically just use this one uncomment this all of the hash and use this one probably if that will be fine okay so congratulations it worked it passed now where is the link to see it I we can just copy this one and paste it on here no error why error oh I know why we can we are seeing this error uh, 
because inside that dot gitlab dot yaml this URL is the problem change it to the paste to this one and now save it and run that it push again it will require id password again so refresh this page and it will run the pipeline again and if you want to see the change just now dot gitlab dot yaml i change right now <coughs> this one i changed it let's see the pipeline how it's going on <coughs> it's successful now if we go to this link we should see our page where is our page it's success My blogging website XYZ it is not showing why why it's not showing let's go to the setting page mm. my blogging website dot gitlab so uh, advanced Let's go. Okay, we're starting on here. So you can give this link to anyone and they can visit our page, but I don't know why this link become this. Uh, also, it fo it forced to go on HTTPS, but still, why I am seeing this warning? Your connection is not secure. I have no idea. Uh, another my blogging site is running Krafi dot xyz just the same process uh, theme is different just the same way uh, you can uh, buy a domain and add it but this one is running on github okay mm. ah i see Oh no. Dot gitlab dot io slash my blog inside dot. No, that's not the case. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right here we can add the domain. Now, it's another video for future. Uh, so, congratulations. Your website will be work just like it. Now, if you uh, if you go to your to update any post, you have to go to the your local host uh, slash ghost and create a post or page, and then come here and do um, first of all convert it with this script as I show you, then do the image uh, feature image location fixer if you need it then do git push if you don't need it if your uh, if your image is just working fine then just do git push that will completely fine 